One of the most fundamental things to understand when working with building automation systems is how to mount the hardware. The KMC Conquest BAC 9000 series VAV controller is one of the most versatile VAV controllers on the market. With an integrated actuator, internal air pressure sensor, and other powerful features, it is ideal for new installations and upgrades of less efficient equipment, such as VVT retrofits. Mounting a BAC 9000 series VAV controller can be different than mounting controllers from other manufacturers. So in this video, we'll explore attaching a BAC 9000 series controller to a VAV damper shaft and mounting it to the VAV terminal box. A BAC 9000 series controller has a drive hub for its built-in actuator in its upper right corner. When shipped from the factory, the drive hub can rotate 90 degrees. Minimum and maximum damper positions are usually set in software during the balancing procedure at a later stage. However, you can install rotation limits at 45 or 60 degrees using the included stop screw if required by the VAV box. To use the stop screw, press and hold the gear release found on the left side of the controller. Rotate the drive hub all the way to the left, let go of the gear release. Turn the controller over, find the stop screw, which is in a storage hole located to the right of the recess labeled 60 and 45. Remove the stop screw from its storage hole and clean any debris from its threads. Insert the stop screw into either the 60 or 45 stop hole position, depending on your VAV damper. Finally, tighten the screw. Take care not to over tighten it which could cause compression to the case, which might interfere with the controller's operation. The drive hub will now only rotate to the required limit. It's recommended to install controllers in a metal enclosure for RF shielding and physical protection. Now we're ready to get started. The built-in VAV actuator can be installed on a 3 8 to 5 8 inch round damper shaft, or a 3 8 to 7 16 inch square damper shaft with a minimum length of two inches. First, Rotate the damper shaft on the VAV terminal box to its fully open position. Next, push and hold the gear disengagement lever. Rotate the drive hub in the same direction that opened the damper until it stops. Now position the controller over the damper shaft so that the controller's terminal blocks are easy to access for wiring. Finger tighten the V-clamp nuts to hold the damper shaft in the drive hub. Next, locate the white mounting bushing, which is held by the mounting tab at the bottom of the controller behind the terminal box. Center the mounting bushing in the mounting tab and attach the controller to the VAV terminal box using a number eight sheet metal screw. Finally, evenly tighten the VAV clamp nuts on the drive hub to 30 to 35 inch pounds. Your BAC 9000 series VAV controller is now mounted. To learn more about mounting similar products and to explore other solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, please check out our other videos or visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.